Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to be reviewing mm. The Medium. The Medium is a psychological horror video game developed and published by Blooper Team, a Polish game developer and creators behind Layers of Fear series. The game was originally released in January 2021 for Xbox Series and Windows and later was released on PS5 in September 2021. I didn't know this until I started the game, so once I saw the uh, names in the opening credits, I figured it was them. I remember them from Layers of Fear, which I wasn't very impressed with. As described, the game is very much psychological horror with heavy emphasis on psychological than horror. So story-wise, we follow Marianne, who is narrating her story to someone and how it all started. She has special powers which allows her to see and interact with the spirit realm and its dwellers. The game follows her to Neva Resort, an abandoned government resort where a man named Thomas has called her for help. In there, she uncovers the story of Neva Resort, origin of her powers, and the horrors she will face. Honestly, I can't really go into details here for obvious spoiler issues, but I really like the game overall. I really like the story overall. In fact, despite the game taking more than an hour to actually get anything started, the story kept me from pushing this game away. Now, gameplay. The game has your typical mix of puzzles, a few jump scares, etc. Typical of your walking simulator horror genre. The medium differentiates itself with the use of split screen to display both the real world and the spirit world. This view gives access to some areas and items that can only be used in one world. Traversing through one realm to the other via mirrors is also an interesting mechanic to the game. As a protagonist, you are able to use your medium powers quotation mark here, to defend yourself and solve puzzles. However, this is more of a situational thing rather than essential core design to the game. Mostly, the core game is all about puzzles. That said, that the gameplay was not the best. The controls were sluggish and awkward. Why can't they go down? Character movements were deliberately slowed down. Some of the level designs were simply done to slow the game. Like, like in general, everything is just slow and sluggish. Combine this with some bad encounters, awkward auto save placement, and no option to skip some of the cutscenes, all these builds of frustration. <sighs> Games like the Soul series are difficult, right? But gives you a sense of accomplishment with a clear right. objective to do. Sadly, the medium does none of that, but just gets you annoyed, oh especially when you're dying due to sluggish controls. Replayability, the game isn't replayable at all either, since it's a story-driven game. So honestly, there isn't much horror to the to go for here, besides the main antagonist, the mole. And he's annoying, not scary, to be brutally honest here. So, little horror value, and it's a story driven game. Yeah, there isn't much replayability here. Oh, yeah, and I finished the game in about 7 hours altogether, so it is short okay, as well. Fine. Now, some, some things that's worth mentioning here is as praised in the Layers of Fear review. The music is beautiful for the most part. Apparently, Akira Yamaoka, composer behind Silent Hill series, was involved here as well when I did my research. Also graphically, the game does a really good job too. I play with the ray tracing off, but if you push. have an RTX Excuse GPU you or Xbox series, you can try those. But now I'm PS5. Uh, sadly, I don't really care about graphics department in general as long as they are acceptable. I'm looking at I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That, that yeah. was unacceptable. Last thing to mention here is the element of horror. I have said this before and to me, horror is all about that imminent sense of danger. That feeling of something breathing down on the back of your neck. Feeling of helplessness. Triggering that fight or flight instinct and so on. Uh, yeah, this game lacks all that. So overall, the medium is more of a psychological thriller than horror. Really, there isn't much horror at all. Right? Overall, the story is quite enjoyable. Well, to me at least. 
but the glaring problem of the sluggish controls, really slow pace of everything, including story development, was frustrating. I guess if you are kind of a gamer who enjoys slow pace, this won't be a problem, but when the gameplay is artificially increased and still be only 7 hours long? I mean, I would recommend it. I would recommend this game still, at least for the storytelling. I really wish there was some horror element, but if you think of this game as psychological thriller rather than horror, it isn't bad at all. Well, that's it from me. As the as usual, thanks for watching, and see you next time.